In this video, we're going to take a look at how to trim vectors in the software. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. But the first way we're going to look at is by using this tool here, which is the Trim, Trim Selected Objects, the last selected object tool. So let's click on our icon. Now you can see here we've got a description that says select the objects you wish to trim. Hold down Shift when clicking to add new objects to the selection. The last selected object or object group will be used as the trim boundary. Now keep this in mind that you can actually group up objects here. And we'll look at that in a later example. So first, let's have a look at what happens when we trim to clear the outside boundary. So if I just hold shift while selecting my vectors that I want to trim away, I want to trim away anything outside of this boundary, this rectangular boundary. So what happens when I cl uh, click clear? It clears away all of the vectors outside of the boundary which I selected. If I control Z that, let's have a look at what happens when I do clear inside boundary. You'll notice it only clears the vectors away or trims away the vectors inside that boundary vector. Now you can actually use grouping here. So you can notice down here I've got a shape with circles inside of it and these circles and the shape are all grouped together. That's indicated by the fact that the line is a solid line in the view. And you can see that the individual vectors have a dashed line. So what happens when we select these? So let's do the same again, hold shift, left mouse click our vectors, and we only have to click the one vector for all our grouped uh, shape or shapes, and we can do clear outside boundary. Let's have a look at what that looks like. And you can see it's cleared all the vectors outside of the boundaries. So you can see how it's respected the group here because all of these shapes are grouped together. If I control Z to go back, we'll do clear inside boundary and you can see it's only cleared inside of the boundaries. Quite a powerful tool. And you can see there is an option here for refit in curves after clipping. Now what this means is if you have this checked, in order to clip curves, the trim tool will convert them to curves instead of many small lines. So if this option is selected, then after clipping has happened, the vectors will be converted to curves. So just important to note that down. Now let's look at a different way that we can trim some vectors. So to do that, I'm just going to turn this layer off and turn on our new layer, which is called layer one. And you can see I've got a box shape here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at trimming some of these overlapping sections in this box shape. So I'll come over to our tool here, which is the interactive trim tool. So let's click that. And you can see we've got a descriptor of what the tool does. So it says to trim overlapping vectors, click on the sections of the vectors that you want to delete. So let's give that a try. Now notice I've got some scissors here as my cursor and they're closed at the moment, indicating I can't cut anything, there's nothing to trim. But when I put it over some vectors, it opens up, so I can trim that away by clicking on it, and it gets rid of that central vector. Let's zoom in so we can see what we're doing a bit closer up. So in the next thing it says, alternatively, you can click and drag over the sections you want to delete. So let's give that a try. So let's left mouse click and drag the mouse down, and it cuts away. Let's drag it to the left, and let's drag it to the right. And those sections are now cut away. You can also see that you can delete a non-overlapping vector by holding on the shift key when clicking. Well, we do have a non-overlapping vector. We have the outer rim here that you can't otherwise get rid of by clicking. So if you hold shift, click on that trim tool, and you can see it gets rid of that outside vector. Now, there is an important distinction here that the group vectors will be highlighted when trimming is attempted because they cannot be trimmed. So let's have a look at that, shall we? So if we go back over to the trim objects layer, Let's try and trim the grouped vector. Let's see what happens. If I click on it, the scissors are closed, but also it highlights that it's a grouped vector by that solid pink line and it doesn't get rid of it. So to ungroup, you can click on that vector and you can click U on the keyboard and G to group it again, or you can right mouse click and you can go to ungroup and you can ungroup or group the uh, vectors as needed. But let's go back to our layer and let's have a look at another example for the options in the interactive trim tool. So you can see there's an option here to rejoin uh, the trim sections automatically when the form is closed. Now what does that do? Well that will rejoin your vector. So let's have a look at an example. So if I take a circle and I'll draw a circle and I'm just going to offset that using the offset tool and then I'm going to highlight that Hold shift, click it, and I'm going to click it again to enter transform mode. Hold control. I'm going to drag it out 
and by holding control I can create a copy and I'm going to overlap it at this section here because I want to cut away that section in the middle and join these two up to make a almost like a number eight looking object. Now with this option selected I can go in, click that and when the form is closed it's now one joined up vector. So that covers our tutorial on how to trim vectors and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.